All right, so if your uh, FJ Cruiser is like mine and awesome, <laughs> what I mean is you've modded it out every which way that you want it for your own personal needs. Everybody's gonna be different. I don't need a snorkel. You've got some of that good old government stimulus money burning a hole in your pocket. Never have gotten one. And being retired, I still gotta go. See that, IRS. I gotta go mail in quarterly taxes for a retired guy. That's pretty fucked up. So for those of us FJ Cruiser owners, whether you are modded, whether you are lifted, whether you are completely stuck. There you go, Biden. You suck, you son of a bitch. There's a white stock FJ Cruiser. All right, so as Biden says, here's the deal. Right there. I did that to my neighbor. He flipped me off. I did this. Right here on the side where that seam is. You know what I'm talking about. The seam spreads open. That's just from the wear and tear of getting your big ass up and down rubbing this area right there. And I did not have that problem when I bought this 45, 50,000 miles ago, but I could see where it would happen. Well, I just noticed I've got the problem. It's happening. I've got a fix for it, but it should be here any minute. Coming from Amazon, and the link will be in the description. And so, just like that, the next mod is here. Naturally, when you want something really bad, it gets delayed and delayed. Da -da -da -da. Drum roll. Motor trend. PU leather. <laughs> Front base seat cushion. It gets folded. Instructions, paperwork. Left and a right. Now are these, now how different are these? Are these really a left and a right? So I was really hoping that it would be the same so I could just stick one on the, my driver's seat and save the other one for a rainy day. This is how the seat cushion goes on like that. This is the back. That's the front, so there's gonna be two little pockets in the front. A little spring dilly on a bungee to hold it on. And this, there we go. The back side of it has got little rubber nipples, titties on there, little grippy things so it'll not move around when you slide in and out of your truck. This holds the pocket down and holds that in. There's another bungee to keep the flaps left and right on there. Then there's these, uh, I forgot what they call them, but they're these keepers that slide in the back that will grab it and hold it. And these are removable. They're plastic. But let's go see if we can just put one on. All right, so here's the Motor Trend label. They want it facing out here. That's why, that's the only thing that's different between the two cushions. So I'm not even gonna put one on the driver, on the passenger side over there. And if you see from the color and the look from above, this thing looks fine. You gotta spread the wings out on it. Spread it out over the seat, like so. Let that go underneath the seat. Oh, there we go. And then the little hooky dilly. Hold 
hold that pocket down right there. Let's get these little pucks and slip them through. And then you can reach around in the back and underneath that flap, you can grab it, pull it up and spread it out. Yeah, no one's ever gonna see that. Now it just needs to settle in from uh, heat and everything. But the look of it and my little tear there is gone. Is it a perfect fit? Oh hell no, it's you know it's Chineseium. One thing I will say is these are $35 or whatever I said, delivered. Have $35 expectations, okay? Because that's what you're paying. And your expectations are gonna be really blown away. But if you've got, you know, $100 expectations, real leather expectations, high-end shit expectations, you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna be too upset. They are what they are. And they're priced really good for what they are. But yeah, that, that crease will go away. It feels like pleather. So what do you think? This needs to settle down and that will settle down. This, you still got access to. This, I never use that. You can still turn if you need to. It's covered up, it's protected. But from over here, from three feet away, look at that. That looks pretty factory-ish. What do you think? I'm happy. This looks better than factory. It covers up and it protects my little rip there. I really don't know what anybody's gonna be putting in those little small pockets. You can put your license and registration. I'm sure those of you Overlanders will bitch that it's not mole. Moly? Molly? I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. It's funny because the uh, the description on here, they're calling it faux leather. But I can tell you from my experience, this is Naga hide. Naga hide's not popular because of the killing of the Nagas. So for those of you snowflakes that are, you know, not wearing animal derived products, you're not gonna want this. I guarantee you a lot of Nagas gave their lives up for this. Let me tell you a little story about those damn Nagas. So I remember this was, I wanna say about 12 years ago, I was, captaining my 157 foot tri-masted sailboat by myself down in the Galapagos Islands. And all the conditions are perfect. I was able to beach, as in land anchor, sand anchor, I called it, my ship right on the beach for the night and what's really cool was at sunset all the nagas would come down to the beach as if they were looking at the sunset too but they were actually coming down there because they feed on fish i'm on the beach and all these nagas come so the the baby nagas they're good for wallets and shoes and uh, purses. But you need the adult full grown Nagas for seat covers. What we would do is if you pick up the little baby Nagas, they're so cute. The adults would come up and they'd stand on their hind legs and put their front paws you know, up, uh, up on your waist, on your thighs, and they'd be crying because they want their babies back. And their arms would be at full reach like this. It was just so easy to take a baseball bat and bonk them in the head 
and you got all this good naga hide. It was easier than fishing at Kroger. I'm serious. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. You know that we have banned the killing of Nagas. They are calling this a microfiber. <laughs> but I Googled it, and microfiber leather is a type of synthetic le leather. It is made from a combination of microfiber, non-woven fabric, coated with a layer of high-performance polyurethane. That's where the PU, the PU leather, polyurethane. It's a rubber resin. In the industry, microfiber is considered the latest version and the highest quality of synthetic leather. So hey, we got that going for us. I like it. I'm happy. I got nothing bad to say. And the color of it, I mean, that looks like it is, they're calling that black. And I gotta say, this thing is like made for Toyota. It's like something you'd see in the Forerunner or Taco or Tacoma or Tundra. Hey, did I mention that the link is in the description? And from over here, it doesn't look like a seat cover really, does it? I mean, if you just open up the truck and look inside, you're not thinking it's a seat cover. That's what it looks like. You know, I might even look into the seat backs because I like the, the feel of the Naga hide. All right, let's take one more look. Factory, never been sat in. That doesn't even look like a seat cover, does it? It's got some creases in it, which they will go away as we know. But man, I'm happy. Links are in the description and I am out of here. You know what to do. See ya.